Ladies and gentlemen, now in the last 24 hours, I've read through so many comments from very frustrated free-to-play players that have maybe got very unlucky when it comes to getting Tamiel or Sariel, and just like are struggling to even clear hard on final boss Escanor. Players that just want to dive in, get the coins, get the fight over and done with, and have a little bit of fun, because even the hard difficulty on final boss Escanor is probably more difficult than like most hell difficulties on every other final boss. So today, I wanted to show you uh, two budget options that can work if you've been completely shafted. So all of these teams, man, are very free-to-play friendly. We have the first one, which is going to be Red Gotha, Red Merlin. Now, Gotha, again, he's available on the new player banner, the new player logging calendar, and also Red Merlin was given out free a... Um, uh, a few weeks back, uh, but it's also like very common on part 1 SSR tickets as well, and those tickets drop like candy in this game, so hopefully you've got a, uh, and fingers crossed you've got a few alt levels as well, but I also wanted to use SR Barn for alt control, and of course SR Tavern Elizabeth. Now, this is on my free-to-play account, we don't have a UR set specifically for Merlin or Barn, uh, Barn is only level 60, he's not super awakened, so again, there's a lot more power that we could give him. Uh, the gear sets. Gotha does have a, um, uh, a health set specifically on my free to play. So yeah, he's pretty jacked up. But again, Gotha is like, uh, you know, easily top three characters you need to make a gear set for as soon as you possibly can. So Merlin has my uh, Meliodas gear. So she's got like a really, really nice attack set. And also Barn has my Escanor gear as well, if we can find that in the inventory. Um, actually, sorry, Barn doesn't have my Escanor gear. He has my Sariel gear set, man. Because uh, my Sariel gear set is actually a little bit better on the free to play. Currently, in comparison into the Escanor one, uh, just because I love Sario on the free-to-play. Uh, but again, the point is that Bard, you know, he's not fully maxed out. He doesn't have his own UR gear set. There is so much more power that you could get on him. And also, um... Uh, just for the sake of the showcase as well, I'm not going to be eating uh, any food on top of that. So again, if you wanted more damage, you could go for attack food, uh, lifesteal food, health food if you need more survivability. Again, there's a lot of different food that can work well in this fight. Uh, alt gauge food could not be too bad as well. Alright, let's give it a go with Barn, man. So I did the Hellbrim run actually and realized there's a much better way to manage and play the first phase. Because again, the really good thing about uh, Merlin is the freezes do stick in phase one. So yeah, that could be like really, really useful for mitigating damage. However, I think this first turn, let's just go for the stance here. I think we attack the Sable as well and we should be fine. To be fair, actually, we don't even need to use the stance if we got attack the Sable on Gotha. So yeah, we should be good. I think we also merge on Merlin here. And then let's go for, um, should we do want to merge? I might just use the upgrade here on Merlin, man. It's quite nice to draw overall. And also, like, gets us closer toward that golden freeze. So, yeah, I don't think it's a bad play to go for. And, again, makes this card hit a little bit harder as well. So, debuffs, the fact that they can stick on Escanor is crazy, crazy good. So, yeah, I think he can crawl sun, but I don't think he can, like, uh, actually attack cards. That helps mitigate the damage a fair bit there. And then I think next turn we can just, uh, yeah, rush Merlin's ulti. And we should be pretty good. We can't, like, drain and uh, freeze here just yet. So, Barn is going to have to tank next turn. So, I think if we go for this card. And let's also chuck off. We just want to, like, dump this card. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I'm just trying to think about the mergers here. Yeah, I think if we go for this, this is slightly more efficient overall. So, that gives us some... Um, Merlin's ultimate next turn and then the play is to drain because you can't freeze him while he's at full alt gauge so you need to take him down one and then he should yeah he's going to smash into Barn there but we heal back a fair bit due to the stance so here we drain we go for the freeze and um yeah, should be should be plenty of damage, dude. Should be so much overkill. Because, again, the good thing about Golden Freeze is it amplifies the d damage, the next card, uh, by 200%. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, if you didn't already know that, man, that's one of the reasons why Red Merlin is just crazy good for this boss. 
and just MVP character, man. Definitely one to level 80, but yeah, like, you know, we get about 460,000 damage there, and he only has about 300,000 in first phase, so that was easy. So much overkill. Let's move on to uh, the final final phase of Escanor. And again, we're not using food on the free-to-play. We don't have UR gear for Merlin. Don't have any cosmetic pieces upgraded as well. So there's a lot more damage that you could uh, potentially get out of her. Okay, but here I think we want to go for... Um, hmm. I think we merge on Barn. Is there, is there much reason to actually merge here? I kind of like a lot of dead cards I want to get rid of, really. Yeah, I, I think we actually just use it individually here. Because, like, these cards are nice for, like, keeping him alive. Okay, nice nice merger on the drain there. That's not bad. Oh, that's pretty good for Merlin, dude. Now, all we need to do is um, give Merlin a single upgrade for the freeze. Um, okay, so we didn't go for AoE drain there, which is magical. So I think we go for this. Then let's upgrade uh, Merlin. And I think we just chuck off, um... Doesn't really matter too much here. Maybe just go through this attack the Sable card. Might as well. Because, again, we still haven't, like, removed his um, buffs at the start yet. So he's got, like, crazy health buff here. So anything I deal damage-wise really isn't, um... <laughs> does, doesn't really matter at this point. Uh... And then next, uh, we just want to get into uh, the habit of draining this man. Oh, no, he's not old gauge yet. That's unfortunate. Hmm. If I don't freeze him this turn, he's going to hit really, really hard. So, yeah, I should I should probably, like, go for one of these freezes, man. Hope that we can draw a, um, uh, what is it, another upgrade card. That's what we need. And then I think we'll just go for, um, yeah, might as well just go for this Merlin card as well, I assume. The thing is, final fra phase freeze doesn't stick, so just something to keep in mind as well. But again, we can still get a bit of bit of damage out of him. And final phase on hard is so much easier in comparison to the higher difficulties, because he only has a maximum of 200,000 hit points on the base. So it means if you get rid of the debuffs, you only need to deal um, 60... Well, technically over 70,000 damage to push him through the... Um, uh, immunity threshold that he has at, uh, what is it, 30%? Because, yeah, you can see his max health here has 20% from the, uh, sorry, two, uh, what, 10%, 20,000 health from the buff there. So the base health in this phase is um, uh, 200,000. So we want to get him a little bit lower here. So here, let's go for this card. Should we actually rush Barnes ult here? Actually, yeah, he's got no, he's got no ult drain here. So that this actually makes perfect sense. Yeah, we've got to play 100% to kill uh, next turn, so I actually think we just go all in for this one. Like, usually, if you've got him, um, if you know that you, he might have a chance to drain, you wouldn't want to go for a play this risky. But, uh, yeah, it's 100% guaranteed next turn he's dead. Because now all we need to do is upgrade on Merlin, then Golden Freeze, and then we chill him, boys. So yeah, let's upgrade Merlin here, get the Golden Freeze, 200% more damage, and Barnes ult hits like a friggin' truck, boys! We got 1,050% damage. Again, SR Champion, easy 6-6 six, six for a, um, a lot of players. And he's, he's only level uh, level 60, not even 4-star Super Awakened as well. And we fire this off, and there we go, 300,000 damage. So that is so much overkill for the final phase there. So yeah, Barn is, uh, you know, potentially a really, really good option if you do play this fight quite cleverly. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the Helbrum takedown. So on my free-to-play account, we got level 80, non-Super Awakened Helbrum. I don't think we've got any cosmetics, unless there's been, like, a few free ones as well. Actually, we got some from like the the pvp fight festival shop so we got a few here uh my big head is in the way but again we could get some more if needed man hellroom does have attack cosmetics uh but we don't have like any of the health cosmetics as well so again there's a lot of stuff we're missing on hellroom we're also not going to be using food uh so yeah theoretically speaking if you want to use hellroom there's a lot more power that you can get on this man and we've just moved over sariel's gear set to hellroom there as well uh so anyway let's dive in and one of the really good things 
things about Helbram is that he has a Petrify card as well. And again, you can control Escanor in the, um, uh, the first phase by using Petrify, Freeze, everything. <laughs> so yeah, this this can be very, very helpful for getting through the, uh, the first phase on Escanor as well. And also in the final phase, it's good for removing buffs if you're having a problem with those. Um, but yeah. What are we getting here? Okay, so we're getting a second Helbrum Drain card. So I think let's go for this play. And I think Juice Merge on Helbrum, dude. Hmm. Kind of tempted to like upgrade Helbrum actually. Let's let's actually upgrade Helbrum. Let's check off this card on Merlin and let, then let's just go for the Petrify. I'm thinking, you know, let's get a little bit of use out of it. <laughs> and uh, you know, you can use it just for safety mitigation, I would assume. So yeah, Eskinol's just petrified there. Man's just chilling. And uh, yeah, perfect. Then he uh, goes uh, straight to his alt turn two most of the time, and we can just fire off a, uh, a drain card. I think we merge this freeze and then I'm, I think I'm actually just going to chuck this off as well. I, I kind of like how this all like weaves together so it's not bad. We could, could we rush Merlin's ult? Uh, we can't rush Merlin's ult and drain so yeah I don't think we do that yet so let's just go for a play that kind of maximizes draw here because again if you can get that bigger um, uh, drain and then you want to drain, freeze, and then alt with a character to try and push that first phase when it's a little bit lower. So I'm going to try and like line up that play that I was talking about um, last run. But yeah, he's going to rank everything down here, which is slightly unfortunate. Actually, if we go for like the big drain here, he shouldn't have like enough alt gauge to then break out of it and then rank everything down. So I think we can go for this and then we merge here and then next turn if we draw a drain just a single drain card on Helbrum then we can drain Silver Freeze and then Alt with Merlin but Helbrum, Helbrum's got some pretty nice base damage dude he's chilling oh yes we got it boys okay so here this is uh this is what I was talking about earlier dude we go for this we drain it's going to take him uh, below uh, the passive so we can actually debuff him with a freeze. And then if we fire off, um, yeah, Merlin's ult, we should be good to push final phase now. Let's go. And again, Merlin's ult, it slaps. It's got some pretty nice damage. You see there, just with a silver freeze, not even a gold, dude, 300,000. And now we're moving into the final phase. So we just need to... Um, yeah, line up, but I, I think, like, judging by the damage in the first phase, even, like, a, um, Helbrum Gold card, like, you've, you've really only got pushed past the 60,000, 70,000 threshold, so, yeah, you've, you've got quite a lot of options at your disposal, but I think here we go for this, um, and then just upgrade Merlin, actually, we can upgrade Merlin now for a few more points there, go for upgrade, golden card there, and we just chuck off this. I really hope that, like, one of these is a drain. <laughs> I just want Helbrum to get drained a little bit. I do actually have 6-6 six, six red Helbrum on the free-to-play, man. Just because I've them so many times in the Part 1 SSR tickets. Um, that is not, not ideal, but not bad either. I mean, we got two drains here, so we're in a pretty, um, pretty good spot. I don't know if we're going to need to, like, upgrade these drains, though, <laughs> for them to actually uh, apply. So yeah, might be something I need to do. Um, I think for safety, let's just assume that I'm going to get patience if I don't upgrade the drains. And let's just upgrade Alvrum here. Because then we only need to draw like one more upgrade for the Golden Freeze. Uh, all, all two Freeze cards. So there's a pretty good chance of getting all that stuff still. And then we've got the, the Petrify next turn as well, just to remove. Oh dude, that's perfect, man. So yeah, this actually puts us in such a strong position. Dude, I love Helbrum for this fight, man. Helbrum's really, really good. And the reason he's healing so much at the start is he's still got that red Escanor buff currently active. So we're going to... Um, what is it? I think we drain it. we got to drain here. Get rid of the ult gauge. Um, actually, let's, let's petrify first. And then we drain. And then I think we just go for upgrade on uh, Merlin here. Yeah, we a fantastic spot. And then if this isn't a um, 
uh, AoE drain card that he's got, then we're chilling. Again, didn't really matter about the order because the Petrify doesn't stick in the final phase, only sticks in the first phase, along with freezes as well. Okay, so we are getting drained here. Um, I still think we're in a, a moderately decent spot. Yeah, next turn, dude, we, uh, we've definitely got the, um, the winning play if we just go for two Helbrum cards here. So let's get rid of that. Um, go for this. And I think just track this off as well. Uh, yeah, should be good. But yeah, this is my uh, my first trial, Halbron, bro. He's killing that. And then next turn, yeah, we got a golden card. We got Halbron's ult. This should be a lot of lot of overkill, man. Halbron doesn't like have the hardest hitting ult in the game, but it's also going to um, I was gonna say remove buffs. Not that that really matters too much. So I think let's just go for a Merlin card here. A little bit of damage again. Looking at his hit points here on hard, um, he is currently with the buff at. Um, 118,000. Um, we get 200% more damage um, when we break this freeze of a card, and then we're going to use Helbrum Zolt. So we got 420% uh, damage here. Again, ideally, like Merlin Zolt, um, <laughs> if you can get to it, it's going to be really nice for uh, dishing out the Sescanor, but this should be fine as well. So yeah, let's, let's send it, man. Give it a little bit of a go here. Okay, so that takes him down to 100,000. I mean, technically, now that he's got rid of his buffs as well, probably about 90,000 hit points. And again, we hit him for 162,000 damage there. Uh, so, yeah, that worked out really, really nicely. I must say, man, I, I really like Helbrum for a free-to-play farming option for the hard mode. I think is um, uh, pretty damn fantastic. Like, again, Tar if you got Tarmiel, bro, Tarmiel, 100% the character you want to be focusing on for this final boss. Um, Hellbrum's not too bad. He's definitely got, like, a few tricks up his sleeve. But, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully today's video gave you a couple more options for final boss Eskinor if you have been really struggling with this fight. Again, you've got to play around the fight smartly. You've got to be aware of what's going on because if you just, like, throw stuff into Eskinor, it's not going to work. So, you've got to think very carefully about, you know, how you play around them. Um, hopefully these runs have, you know, helped to, uh, you know, un make you understand the fight a little bit more. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now, or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.